As that video came came to our notice, the Inspector General of Police, M.D. Abubakar, gave very clear instructions to the Commissioner of Police in charge of Lagos State Command to identify and bring that police officer to justice immediately. And I want to gladly report here that in less than 24 hours after we got wind of that story, the police officer was identified. He was arrested. He was detained. He has since been conclusively tried in an ugly room trial. And as I'm speaking to you, he is no longer a serving police officer. Sergeant Christopher Omeleze has been dismissed from the Nigerian police force. Before his dismissal, he was serving with the Lagos State Motor Traffic Division. He is reported to have put 21 years in service, but that have all gone down the drain. It is clear from my investigation that those names were no real names. As a matter of fact, he made no calls. What he simply did was to blackmail. Those were antics of a corrupt Nigerian, a corrupt police officer, trying to blackmail and hoodwink an innocent citizen into believing that there are some superior forces somewhere that are backing him. But these are just antics. And we're glad that the citizen did not fall for those antics. After today, Sergeant Chris Someleze, who ceased to wear this uniform given to him during his recruitment by the Nigerian police force. Confirming his dismissal, the Lagos Commissioner of Police, Mr. Umaru Manko, says Sergeant Omeleze was sent packing after trial by the police provost office. He warned all others engaging in similar acts to desist or be prepared to face the law. He was tried on oath. If you try somebody on oath, it's an indication that uh, he should be fruitful to himself. He was tried on oath and uh, we reviewed the proceedings and uh, based on the authority conferred on me by the police regulations I have uh, ordered this dismissal uh, from service with effect uh, from today and um, I've also asked then to hand him over to the legal department to check within the laws of this nation if uh, there are other sections of the law that he has contravened by being a public officer who gets himself involved in corrupt practices. He should be charged to court. If you find people like this Christopher still in the police doing it with all impunity, uh, he's not going to be spared. And any other one like him, whoever he is, whatever is the rank of that policeman in Lagos State, if he's caught the way that one was caught red-handed, he will face the consequences.